Hello, hello. Welcome back to Daily Devotion. So glad that you're here today. We're in a very exciting chapter of 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Here we go. I hope that you um, I hope that you can enjoy I hope that you enjoy this as much as I do. 1 Corinthians 13. Here we go. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brash or a clinging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I should, could remove mountains, and but I have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But where there's prophecies, they'll fail. Whether there's tongues, they will cease. Where there's knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. You know, I'm going to pause right there and say, you know, isn't it funny that kids speak first, understand second, and then think for think last? Maybe we should turn that around and you you know, whenever you mature, you think first, and then your thinking brings understanding, and then your understanding brings you to a part where you can actually speak. When I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then we shall know just at as I also am known. And now abide faith, hope, and love, these three, but the greatest is love. The theme of 1 Corinthians 13 is one of the most quoted chapters in the Bible is love. Significantly, it's placed in the middle of the discussion of spiritual gifts. God has emphasized the priority of love over spiritual gifts and the necessity of love and exercising spiritual gifts. The more excellent way that it concluded in 1 Corinthians 12 is the way of love. 1 Corinthians 13 teaches the supremacy of love in the Christian life. No discussion of spiritual gifts is complete without considering love, for love is the necessary motive for every action. To make this point, the passage cites several spiritual gifts of 1 Corinthians 12, tongues, prophecy, knowledge, faith, good works. In short, the only acceptable motive for operating spiritual gifts is in love. While we should earnestly desire spiritual gifts, we must desire for them to be for the right purpose, not to exalt ourselves, but to bless others. Perhaps one reason why so many Christians do not see more gifts operating in their life is because it's the wrong motive. When we exercise a spiritual gift, we must ask ourselves, am I speaking or acting in love? Is my true motive love for God, his church, and the lost, or my ego? Love is patient, kind, not envious. It doesn't envy. Envy is nowhere near love, not boastful. It doesn't pride itself, not rude. Love is not self-seeking. Love is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. It doesn't keep score. Love does not delight in evil. Love always rejoices in truth, is always protecting and trusts and hopes and perseveres. Someone said that faith rests in the past, hope looks to the future, but love works in the present. Love is the most important of these because it operates in the eternal now. Faith, hope, and love. Whatever God's called you to do, whatever you feel your calling is, is, whatever gift you feel like God has given you, Just always remember, season it with love. Let love that is patient and kind, love that's not envious or rude. Let your relationships be seasoned with love and see what kind of doors God will open for you. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in and feel free to subscribe. Bye-bye.